On this channel, we solve Sudoku puzzles without candidates. This puzzle is from Sudoku to Go, Volume 155, puzzle number 86. This puzzle gets kind of hard in a couple of places, and we use URs at one point to get going again, and then we use two sets of triplets together to get past the second rough spot. You can print this puzzle um, and fill it in as you watch the video. This tells you how to do that. You can also um, get other puzzles to print. And once you've printed them and you're solving them, if you can't figure out how to solve them, you can just click on a link right on that page where you printed the, the puzzle and watch a video. So check those out. This is on the website, Sudoku Primer website. Just go to that menu item. And then for this puzzle, you just click on the link in the description below uh, to print this puzzle. Well, let's get solving. I'll put in a few easy uh, numbers like I always do. Put in all the easy numbers and then we'll uh, work through the difficult spots. We've got a um, five, 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 so that's a five right there. Uh, five, 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 so that's a five. Five, 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 so that's a five. And a four here, four here, four, so that's a four. Let's see here. I got one, one, one. One, one, one. All right, we've got a right angle pattern right here. With a right angle pattern, you look in this column and in this row, and if you see a number that's in both the column and the row that isn't already in this box, that would be the number that goes there. In this case, we got a two here and a two here, so that's a two. Now we're missing uh, a few numbers here. We've got a four here, and with that four, we've got ghost fours there, so neither of these can be a four. We've got a four there, so that has to be the four. Another way to see that is we've got a four. One of these is a four. One of these is a four with the ghost fours and that four. Using double row elimination, you know the four has to go in this row, and there's a four there already. So a couple of different ways to find that four. All right. Let's see, you got a two there, two there, so that's a two right there. And now we've got a seven here, go sevens, so that's a seven. And one, one, that's a one. Now we've got three, six, and nine, the only three numbers left here, and seven and eight. So three, six, nine, seven, eight, um, three, six there. Then you can put in a, a six right there. Only number left in that column. So we got eight, nine twins, three, six twins, seven, eight twins, three, six, and nine. But that's about all we have here. Now it's getting kind of difficult. So if you want to pause the video right now and see if you can um, find the next number. At this point, I found a set of URs, unique rectangles. And that with uh, um, um, Using double row elimination, the combination of those two techniques, I found the next number. So uh, if you want to pause the video, go ahead. I'm going to continue on now. We've got a 5 and a 7 here, a 7 and a 5 here, and a 5 and 7 there. So that makes these 5, 7 twins right there. And down here in box 9, we've got a 5 here and a 5 here and a 5 there. So one of these is a 5. So using unique rectangles, we have five, seven twins there, and a five that goes here or here. Uh, with that 
combination of numbers, we know neither of these can be a 7. We've got a 7 here, and neither of these can be a 7, so the 7 has to be here, one of these three places. Okay, uh, so that narrows it down, and we got 7, 8 twins there, and 7 here, so that covers these two rows. So for box 8 here, we need know the 7 has to be in row 7. We've got a 7 there and a 7 there already, so we know it goes right there. Okay, and now let's see, we're missing uh, one or uh, two, six, and nine there. We've got a two and a six already there, so that's a nine. And with that nine, we got nine, nine, nine there, so that's a nine. All right, and remember our sevens here. Well, with that nine filled in, we know the seven has to be in row nine now, so that can't be a seven. And we've got two here, ghost twos there. So these are two seven twins. So that makes that an eight. And that a seven. Now we knew these were seven eight twins. Once we found, once we put that nine in, we, we had ghost sevens there. So we could have found that eight that way. But I pointed out these are two seven twins to, to find that eight. So, all right. Now we're stuck again. Now I'm um, to find the next number. I found two sets of triplets, one in a row and one in a column, in order to find the next number. So um, if you want to pause the video again and see if you can find those two sets of triplets, uh, go ahead. I'll just move uh, move on now. Let's look at this column right here. We're missing two, three, six, eight, and nine. Well, we've got a 3 and a 9 here, so that's got to be, these have to be 2, 6, or 8. With that 2 there, that's a 6 or an 8, and that's a 2, 6, or an 8. And remember, row 4 here, we only have 2, 6 missing. So we have 2, 6, 2, 6, 8, 6, 8. It's 2, 6, 8 triplets. That leaves 3 and 9 for these two cells. That's our first set of triplets. And now remember we have three six nine there. We've got um, a three or a nine here. So if we can find another cell that can only hold us three six and or nine, we'll have triplets in this row. Let's look at that cell right there. What are we missing? One two three four five six seven. 8, 9. So we're missing 3 and 6 there. So we have 3, 6, 9, 3, 9, 3, 6. 3, 6, 9 triplets there. So what does that leave us in this row? It leaves 1, 2, and 8. So um, these three cells right here are 1, 2, and 8. And with that 2 there, we know that neither of those can be a 2. So that's a 2 right there. And now these are 1 and 8, and with that 1, we can fill those in, too. So there you go. Now, we were, now we're able to get past that difficult spot. All right, with these 1s here, well, that's a 1 right there. Uh, now we've only got, with that 1, we've only got a 3 and 9 missing here, because we know these are 5, 7 twins. Got a 9 there, so we can fill those in. Now we're only missing 3 and 6 there. We know these are 5 and 7. So what are these here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 and 9. So that has to be a 6 because of that 9 there. And that makes that a 9. Now we can solve the 3 and 6 there with that 6. All right, now let's look at box nine again. Remember we had uh, two seven twins there. One of these is a five. These are four and eight now, now that we've filled everything else in this column. So we have two, seven, four, eight. That leaves three and five right there. All right, and uh, let's 
with the three and five there, the only thing we're missing here is three and six. So we have three, five twins right there. So that makes these ghost threes. So that can't be a three. So that's a six and that's a three. All right, let's look at box two here. We're only missing three numbers, and one of the numbers will be only number left in row two. That's a nine. Now we're missing three, eight. And with that three, we can solve those. All right, and then we got a three here, three here, three here. So that makes that a three. <clears throat> and three and three there, that makes that a three. Okay, now we knew these are five sevens and two sevens and three fives. Now with that three, we're going to get an avalanche of numbers here. There's a five there, five three. It's five sevens with that five. We can fill those in. We can solve the two sevens with that seven. And, uh, we had two and six left in this row. With that two there, we can fill those in. Now we're only missing two, four. Two and four there, so we can finish those. Uh, now we're only missing six and eight here. With that six, we can solve those. And remember our four eights, we can put those in now. These are two and four. With that two, we can solve them. All right, now these are six and nine, six and nine. That six there, we can finish those. Four. And eight are now only missing there. With that four, we can fill those in. And now we're missing eight and nine there. With that eight, we can put a nine there and an eight there. And we got it. All right. Well, not too bad. Using a couple of advanced techniques, we uh, did pretty good. Uh, the trickiest part, I thought, was finding these triplets there and there being able to fill in the one, two, and eight here. And that really got us going again. Well, you all take care and happy solving.